see if there's any gas inside the car. Oh, look at that, you guys. What? We found a hammer. Hot damn. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I'm an Old Guy Gaming, and this is the Ravenhurst mod. And uh, last night, oh, about a couple hours ago, um, in game time, time, I heard a zombie's TTL run out, time to live. There's three wolves down there. And I heard him drop a bag. So let's see if we can find where that bag is and see what's in it. Um, there's also some really creepy sounds that happen in Ravenhurst uh, overnight. So those of you who have played this mod before, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, let's see. Where is that bag? It sounded really close by wherever it was. Um, but I'm not seeing it. Hmm. All right, let's jump down. I don't, I don't want to tangle with three wolves. Don't really want to tangle with one wolf, actually. Especially not three, though. I wonder if he was inside. Yep, there it is right there. There might be sleepies in here. Oh, no, there probably isn't. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah, we got some pain pills. Actually, that's really good. Crossbow bolts and some 9 mil ammo. All right. Not bad, not bad at all. Is this stuff... This stuff must have reset, because I know I... Uh, You know, I know I looted this back in the day. Well, I guess I don't know that for 100% sure. There's some more salt. We can use that to uh, make some more jerky when the time comes. Did I really forget to loot this or has it reset? Yeah, see, no, I didn't. I just I, I just forgot. Well, did I? I don't know. <laughs> the water things are looted, but the cabinets are not. Maybe they have reset. I thought I'd set the game... To not reset loot, though. I'll bet you I just didn't. I never looted everything in here. That's probably what it was. So we're going to do that now. Beautiful. We got some nice beverage out of that deal. Check the trash can. Got a pipe. Okay, there's a lot of leather in here that we could get at some point if we need to. Man, I can't put... Oh, shit, the wolves are in here. I can't believe I forgot to, to loot that. Let's get the hell out of here. Anyway, um, so yeah, today the plan is to go make the farming table first. And then we're going to go back to the gasoline in that other town on our mini bike. And we're going to uh, get it and hopefully it's done. Yikes. You know what we could maybe do? We can get a lucky shot off with this. We might be able to actually kill these guys and get some meat. We just about killed him. Came really close. Alright, now he's dead. Where'd you go, man? Um, I'll bet you he went inside. Okay, can we see them from down here? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, hold that head still. One of these wolves is already damaged. Let's get up here. There, that works better. Did that not kill him? That was right in the noggin. Holy shit, that's a tough wolf. Okay, he's dead. He moved right as I pulled the trigger.
All right, I think he went further into the to the booby trap there. But he is damaged, so let's um let's get this ready. Oh, let's load this first. For Pete's sake, OG. How is it that none of these are loaded? Shit! Come here. Okay, so he's running off. He should come back. He's almost dead. He is going to come back, right? They usually do. Come here, Wolfie. He went back inside. Where'd you go, Mang? All right, well, I'm going to get the other wolves first before I lose them. Sounds like he's fighting a zombo. Okay, let's go in here. See, he's back out there again. Trying to wait for him to hold still. We got him. How come I'm 12 things over encumbered? What in the hell do I got in my inventory? Oh, it's from looting all that stuff, right? Okay. Uh, well, let's get rid of this. And we're going to have to deal with this guy. We can't really run very fast. So if he enrages, we're just going to have to do that. Now oh, we got a point. Nice. All right. We might as well pick that up now. Now let's go get grab that other wolf before he disappears. Very nice. Okay, so we got some good giblets there. So a total of 21 meat. We got three things of hide, 54 things of bone, some fat. Uh, we got a bunch of beverages. Let's drink this one now. Some extra beer, which is good, so we can use that, you know, for making more of the insect trap things. Let's turn this into leather. And do I have more of those bone fragment things? Yeah. Well, let's turn as many of these into bones as we can. Still have one left over. And the pipe and an extra bone. Okay, good. So I think we are in good shape now. Um, actually, here, we should just put that. Yeah, let's hang on to it. We're going to need three of them to make a Kim bench at some point. Um, whenever that happens to be. Not really short. And we'll put the crossbow bolts in here. I guess we'll put that extra bone in there because it's not fitting in the other place. Oh, wait. No, that's the bones that we're making. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, guys. So, yeah, the plan for today is to go uh, make our our farming bench at the workbench over there. And then we're going to jump on a mini bike and we're going to go back to the pumps and get our, um, um, what's it called? The... Uh, 
the rest of the gasoline. And then after that, we'll kind of see what happens. Uh, I was able to fill up the entire gas tank on the mini bike. Plus we have 676 more. And this was all just left over from, uh, you know, what we brought back. So I want to run back over here and see what we need for the farming bench. Cause I forgot what it was. All right, so we need 250 iron, 25 screws, 50 wood, and 10 fiber cordage. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, what, what I'm going to do is get that stuff gathered up. And when I have it all done, I will bring you guys back and we'll go get the rest of our gasoline. All right, guys, we are back and I have all of the uh, stuff that I need for the farming table. Let's go ahead and make sure that we... Uh, make this the active quest here and let's go make the farming table and place it and then we'll see what the next steps are in that quest uh, incidentally I finished the um, the gas wars quest and got the you know the blue journal pieces uh, in the last episode and uh, so I've got all that stuff just kind of on standby until you know we can finish the whole entire quest so that's good. Let's take care of these dudes here. Okay, here we go. Farming table. That'll take a little, almost three minutes to finish. So let's see here. We'll put the wood back up here. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll wait for that to finish, and then uh, when it's done, I'll meet you guys back at the base and go from there. Oh, I'm just going to kill a couple zombies while I'm waiting here. It's more. Oh, we, you know what? We have actually a point. Uh, at least one point, I think, that we need to spend. Maybe even two, but at least one. So let's take a look at that as soon as we get rid of Arlene here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go to skills. Yeah, we have one point. All right now, we need to figure out what we want to put this in. I mean, there's a ton of things that we need, of course. And um, let's go to perk. Uh, no, not perk books. Let's go to, to action skills. I really would like to get going on, um, you know, get, get a better knife. Of course, mining tools... Is going to be really important too. So the scrap tools requires level 20 in mining tools, but I, again, I just don't like putting points in action skills because we're going to get them automatically by using them, right? Uh, where are we at with bladed weapons, by the way? So we're still only on 21. Man, even after all the knifing I've been doing, we're still only on 21 on this. Jeez Louise. We have to get the 40 to get the you know, to get the um, journeyman, which gives us the real hunting knife. Uh, but maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll luck out and fi actually find it uh, before then. Construction tool crafting, uh, we also need to get to 20. And it's currently at 12 in order to make the claw hammer if we don't find one. So, okay, well, you know what I think I want to actually do? Maybe we should wait until we get the farming table and see what all we can do with it because living off the land, you know, industrial farmer unlocks wells as well as fishing traps. Ooh, fishing traps could be useful. Master the bro technique and start your own cannabis farm. <laughs> okay. Uh, what does cannabis actually do for you in the game? Not in real life, in the game. Does anybody know? If you do, let me know. Is I mean, is that worth actually doing or is it just kind of a spoofy thing? I don't know. Pain tolerance wouldn't be bad to have, of course. Um, iron gut wouldn't be bad to have either. Um, that would help, you know, with our food and all that. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff, like I said, that we really do kind of need. But I wonder if we should maybe focus on... Um, well... See, they've removed the, like, the gun, the weapon stuff here. So, Lucky Looter would be useful for sure. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, well, let's just wait until we get the farming table and see, you know, what we can do with it and if that might require, 
more skills that we could maybe put a point into. So let's go set this back down in our uh, on our base here and then see what it's all about before we decide what we're going to spend the point on. Okay, let's put the farming table over here, because why not, right? All right, now, starting your farm. Gather tarps, craft nails, gather brass hinges. We should have all of that stuff, so here's two tarps. Um, it wants ten nails. Oh, we have to craft them. Come on, man, what the frick? Why do I have to craft them when I already have them? That's just bullshit. <sighs> All right. <laughs> let's um, let's craft them real quick. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about here. That's bullshit. Okay. Gather composter. So. I'm assuming we... Wait, do we make that in here? Composter. Here we go. Okay. Make that. That's going to take two minutes. All right. We'll wait. Okay. We have the composter. Place the composter. Um... I'd like to put it right next to the thing, so let's just pick these guys up. Okay. Now we need to gather turds, coffee beans, soil, plant fibers, paper, live worms, rotting flesh, and nitrate powder. Are you saying I need all of those things at the same time to compost? Really? Or can do just some of them work? Huh, okay. Well, I don't have any coffee beans because we've been making coffee with them. Okay, well, we need to start picking up rotting flesh and and poop. <laughs> uh, healthy poop, that is. And um, plant fibers and all that kind of stuff. Okay, well, none of that's going to be difficult to do. It's just going to be maybe a little tedious, but not difficult. I think we're going to stop there you know with the farming stuff for now because that's stuff i could probably you know work on or at least some of it uh, off camera but particularly like the worms i could be digging up at night and that sort of thing so um but you know we're going to come across all that by just looting so i want to get back to the gasoline situation so why don't we take off now and do that we still have that point to spend uh too Let, let's look at that once again here so if we go here um so let's just kind of go down the list here. This is perception. Lucky looter is definitely going to be useful uh, for us. Strength, uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus. Okay, so this is going to be useful too, but we have to have strength level three to get it. We have strength level two. Well, we have an effective strength level two because of our stogie. Uh, mother load. Pay dirt. This will give us 20% more. Always a good one to have. So that one um, would be a candidate. Putting a point into strength would be a candidate just so we can get the next sexy T. What do we have in fortitude? So we have th three in fortitude. Um, let's. The pain tolerance would be a good one to get for sure. Healing factor. Gain one health every 90 seconds. And critical injuries heal 20% faster. Iron gut would be a good one. Reduce food and water loss from physical exertion by 5%. Hold breath longer. Buffs last 10% longer. Cardio. Cardio is not really going to be a thing, really, for us now that we have the mini bike. Well, assuming we can get the gasoline situation under control. So I don't think that's a good choice for us now it would have been earlier but not so much right now running gun flurry of blows hidden strike from the shadows mm. nah not really this could be somewhat useful 
physician. Okay, 25% more health from medical items gained, 40% more XP using bandages. Do, do, do. Can craft oh, can craft first aid bandages and plaster casts. Yeah, yep, I think we're gonna do that. Can't go wrong with that, man. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, before we leave now, let's actually look look at that. Normally, you just need some aloe cream and some cloth for that. I, I don't know. You know, this is Ravenhurst, right? Uh, so, and do we can we do that in our inventory? Or do we have to do it in here? First aid bandage. Yeah. So we just need cloth fragments and aloe cream. All right. So we're gonna have to start picking up aloe because oh no we have 12 right here okay good 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 so we got that and uh we well we should start picking up aloe anyways now did that say i had to do it in the th whoops in the thing yeah okay there we go 12 bandages oh man yeah that was i think that was a good choice that we made let's just put these signs in here they're not practical practically they're not good for anything they're just kind of more deco i think okay um i don't think we're going to keep carrying the agility glasses around uh our goggles we could maybe use those to get an effective higher point but i'm really just interested now in the nerdies you know so that we can get the extra xp bonus that we get um and then you know when we're when we're looking at fat loots hopefully i'll remember to switch over to these uh, so that frees us up a slot, too. Oh, look at those bandages. Oh, my, that's beautiful. Okay, we're going to put the, these bandages here. And we got a stack of bandages there. And Oh, we don't have any room. That doesn't go in there. That does not go in there. Um, is there anything else I put in here that doesn't go in here? No, I think that's all good. It might behoove us to carry some steroids around. It takes up a slot, but it's going to free up all of our slots you know, if we need it to. So yeah, let's do that. And then we'll put the pipe of Ruski down here and we are good to go. Oh man, it feels good to uh, finally have some actual first aid bandages. It really does. Uh, let's see, we're gonna put, uh, let's put our bow back down here, I guess. Uh, we don't need that on the toolbar. We'll put the, the, the uh, drink down there just for a quick stamina boost if we get into trouble, which we probably will, because we always do. Okay, let's go back to the uh, other town and check the gas pumps and see what the deal is with that but i think our next highest priority guys is we got to find a desert uh, so that we can uh, get oil shale so that we can make gasoline and and not have to worry about it we've got a working chem bench at the trader so that's covered and um, you know we've been fairly fortunate to have working we have a working uh, workbench and we have a working chem bench in our town not in our base but you know that's okay in our town so very useful all right let's go check these pumps i'm not going to try and kill all these zombies there's so many zombies around here it's still filling you got to be kidding me how long does this take holy crap all right, well, I guess, um, guess we come back later. All right, well, what we're going to do then is, since we're caught, we've headed west anyways. We're going to continue heading west in hopes to hmm, find a desert. And we'll go until our gas tank, you know, is, is half empty. And if we don't find anything, you know, then we'll have to turn around. That's uh, I don't, I do not like that gas pump mechanic in the mod here. Just gonna throw that out there. It not, it should not take that long to fill those gas, gas cans. Cause think about it, right? If I had a gas can and I was at a gas pump, how long does it take to fill a one gallon gas can or whatever, you know, the capacity of those is? It takes what 45 seconds <laughs> come on man what the hell this is some kind of rough terrain to be in with our mini bike here
Okay, no desert yet, but we did find another town. Let's kind of take a look around here and maybe even see if we can find some gas pumps. We ended up actually going more, uh, well, quite a bit south just because of the terrain. You know, we had to kind of go through this little uh, valley here and then I just started turning south, so... Um, let's start on this end, and I forgot I actually have extra gas um, in in the bike, too. So, we can go a little further than just half halfway on the tank. So let's just kind of map this town out here and see what's going on with it. Dang! Look at that thing. Wonder if it works. <laughs> I doubt it. It's probably just a static POI, but still pretty cool. There's a pump inside of there, but it looks like it's one of the broken ones. Let's just go check it out real quick. See if there's any gas inside the car. Look at that, you guys! Woot! We found a hammer. Hot damn! That means we can now make the workbench, have it in our base, and more importantly, advance the quest. Okay. That was worth the price of admission, man. Okay, so that's... Well, both of these pumps work. Okay, cool. So, oh, wow. This must be the janitor's house. Um, Let's get... Let's deal with these yahoos. Yahoo! Okay, let's check the water coolers. Nice, mineral water. We'll take it. Okay, so this should give us hopefully some gas. Nice. All right. And then we'll uh, we'll put some more gas in. Uh... Ooh, yeah, that's a good quantity. We'll put some more gas in each one of these guys. There we go. And we should mark this place on the map, too, just so we know. Uh, so we're going to go save waypoint, and we're going to just call this gas pumps. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That uh, actually worked out in our favor. Let's go ahead, just go ahead and loot this stuff whilst we're here. Got another mineral water. And some ammunition. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Check the lockers. Sewing kits are always welcome. Look at that. Do 10% more damage with 44 guns. I'll take it. <laughs> Zoom tight. Woo. All right. Does that go into another area or is that just the backyard? No, there is, there is more area. All right. Since we're in this building, we might as well finish uh, looting it. Man, I'm so happy we finally found a hammer. And we got another, uh, it takes just a little over 900 gas to fill up the tank. So we got another full tank plus, you know, what I already had extra too. So not bad, man. Okay, we need to start um, collecting poop. That we're going to scrap for research points or blueprints or whatever. That will scrap. Uh, let's scrap this too. Let's check the bulls and we're going to check the nails. And I think we'll keep uh, here. Let's just check the bone stuff too. All right. We want the brass. I don't think I'm going to grab either one of those things.
Ah, shit. We're 13 uh, slots encumbered, so we need to put some stuff in the mini bike. Let's get a little ways away from these yahoos. Here, let's fill this up. And then we still have... Um, yeah, we actually have quite a bit of gas now. Not bad at all. Okay, what do we want to keep? Pretty much all of this stuff. We don't. We're not going to keep that. I um, guess we'll keep those. That we'll keep. Uh, the hammer we're going to keep in there for now. Cowboy Bob, how are you today? Ooh, that cowboy bop's tough. He's got 450 hit points. What makes him different than other cowboy bops? They don't usually have that many hit points. He's like a T1 cowboy bob. He should be dropping here any second. There we go. Okay. Let's go back over here. Um, actually, you know what? Instead of finishing looting that place, uh, let's just finish mapping out this town and see if we can come across more gas pumps. This is a sizable town. I think it's larger than anything else we've had so far. Oh, yeah, that's the the pool peel. I am familiar with that place. Pissy waters. <laughs> Pissy waters, yeah. Right. We got a lumber yard place, a Monster Flex Gym, M Club, five dollar make ya holla. Yeah, there's a lot of cool POIs in this town. The good old Navis Game Creamery. The ruined building here. There's some uh, some gun loot in there. We can check at some point. I like this place, man. Lots of custom POIs here. Um, gas pumps? Yes. Passing gas, baby. All right, let's get our uh, thingamadoodles on our toolbar. Come on, boys. I don't want them to, to damage the gas pumps. Don't hit the gas pumps. Do not hit the gas pumps. Okay. Let's get a little ways away so I can stop and mark this on our map. Okay, cool. So we got more gas pumps and we got more gas. So let's just finish uh, mapping out the town here. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, coming through. All right, this place has the irradiated thingamadoodles. So we won't be doing that anytime soon. More gas pumps? Bus depot. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's let's uh, let's actually mark it right now. What are we using this? So I suppose, you know, if you get enough of these, they could be useful for for gas, but still, I mean, I don't like the idea of having to travel all over the countryside. 
And, and again, I'm assuming at this point that I'm just going to get 50 out of these because that's what I'm putting in. That makes sense, but maybe it'll be an RNG thing and we could potentially get more because 50 cans is nothing. But we are getting um, a nice little supply of gas, you know, up front though too. So that's that's really good. We have a couple more pumps we got to hit there. All right, go away, Edgar. Okay. Excellent. So we've got quite a few pumps now that we've we've hit, and uh, a nice nice collection of gas. So let's fill up our tank, and then um, put the rest of this in here. Look at that, man! We have two full stacks, and then another 765 on top of that. So we've got a nice supply of gasoline for the moment. Let's finish mapping out this town, and then we got to wrap up this episode because we've been going for a little bit long here. Ooh, we got a library we could go check out uh, for books and schematics and stuff. Always a good thing. Oh, gas pumps. All right, let's mark it. Okay, have we, um, we've got this, this intersection, this intersection, and then we'll just go down that street. Uh, I like this, I like this town. There's a lot more stuff in this town than there are in, you know, where we're currently at. Uh, even to the point where I might consider moving here. The problem with that, though, I have to, I have to confirm this, but last time I looked, I don't know if I can actually pick all my workstations up. Uh, you know, even with the land claim blocked down. So I have to go look at that again. There's a Bell's Bakery. Okay, let's go down this street here. Okay, I think we have uncovered the entire town. And it's a, it's a good sized town too. Definitely a good sized town. Uh, but it is getting on in the day, so I should be heading back to our original town. And I'm going to look again at setting down a land claim block, and because I moved the land claim block to our horde base, and see if I can actually pick my stuff up. If I can't, then that's, you know, that's going to be significant, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That doesn't mean we still couldn't ultimately move to this town, but. I mean, you know, it's a fair trek to get over here. So I'll think about it. But anyway, that is it, guys, for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.